Humbleness is the key. I was always taught to be humble. Well, I always played basketball as a kid, but um, I would say at the age of 16, I started to take basketball a little more serious than I ever have. I always thought basketball was just, you know, something to do with my friends. But as I got older and as I matured and actually grew some height, I started to take basketball a little bit seriously. Well, I, I actually did my, my freshman year of college at Monroe, and it was a, a, a very great learning experience for me. I had run-ins with the head coach here and there, nothing too serious, you know, just as far as like um, me playing and not to sound selfish, but my shot selection. After the season, he asked me if I, I wanted to stay. He told me I could weigh my options. So I decided to weigh my options. I got back to the coach a little too late and um, he decided to move on. Being a freshman at Division I school and going through what I went through, a lot of kids would crack, give up, say, they might say basketball is not for them. I kept going, I kept striving, I kept working hard, I worked harder. I, I got up six o'clock in the morning every day after that and worked out and worked harder and harder and harder and harder to become a better player so I won't have to go through that again. So he um, requested for me to come up here just to see if I like it, to um, walk around the campus, to discuss and pretty much discuss my future with um, Coach DePue. Sat down, discussed things with Coach DePue and I just figured Sullivan would be the place for me my next year. After Sullivan, uh, I would like to um, enter a four-year school pretty much in university. Hopefully, uh, after that, after my two years there, I'll be able to, um, if not play professional basketball, I'll be able to get a good job with my degree, um, have a family, and just hopefully um, be able to take care of my mom. I just would like to thank, just thank everybody that's behind me, that's, that's helping me, that's, that's pushing me. It was plenty of times I wanted to give up. I, I didn't want to play basketball anymore. I wanted to go a different route in life. My mom is a, a big key in my life, and she's a, a big reason why I do this. If it wasn't for her, life would be real difficult. So I, I figured basketball would be, be a way for me to get my education, just in case I wouldn't be able to play professional basketball. I'll at least have a degree to where I can, and not, if not take care, help out my moms and with the things she needs. A wise man can play the part of a fool, but a fool can never play the part of a wise man. Started off in Staten Island, New York, playing basketball in New York. In high school, or oh, junior high school, the sport of basketball is just for fun. When I graduated, I took a year off in basketball. I went to Cobra Skill. I found Cobra Skill because they had just recently won the national championship. I wasn't really ready for college at that time. When you get to college, it's, it's more business now. I don't play around with this. That's why I go hard every day. Cause this is not, this is not no game no more. It's, this is a business. And as you can see, I'm marketable. So I need to be on the cover of something. I'm playing for the love, but I'm also playing to get a check. So when I'm done with this college basketball, I'm trying to get a contract. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not one of the people that say, oh, school first, bat no, basketball first, but because I know I need to go to school and get good grades, I do it just to play basketball. Basketball gives me a lot. Without basketball, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you where I would be. I, I would probably be back in Park Hill. I got talent, and my talent gonna take me where I need to go. Wherever it is, me being who I am, I know I can fit in any top program in the country. If anybody think I'm cocky, I would tell them I am cocky. You want to know why? Because I put in that extra time in the gym every day. I don't take no days off. I'm the one in the gym 6 o'clock in the morning before practice, putting up shots. I'm a hard-working person, so I don't got no time to be humble. Humble people are the people that's not good. I know I'm good. I bring leadership, confidence. I bring swagger. I bring hard work, determination, I'm responsible, 
and my teammates know when they look in my eyes from the minute we get out there to the time it's over that they could depend on me. That's one thing they can never ever say. Moses was out there half assing nothing, no matter what. Whether we losing by 20 or winning by 20, my teammates know I'm gonna go hard. So when I go on the court, I lay it down on the court. So anybody that think I'm cocky, tell them you're right. Moses Day is cocky. I don't need luck, because I'm blessed. And that's what my mother told me. You feel me?